Hello. So we're on um, we're on mission six now, episode six. That is um, where the bees sleep. Now this can be a long one, and it's got quite a lot of tasks to complete. You won't get S rank the first time, and there's one task you can't actually. Um, Well, no, you can actually complete all tasks. So tell a lie. You can you can complete all tasks now, but you will be really struggling to get um, S rank and complete all tasks at the same time. So just going to do S rank to begin with. Um, so first, obviously, um, as normal, this is only if you want to make this as easy as possible. Make sure chicken hat is on, and make sure you have put your date back um, two days or forward or forward two days um, since the last time you logged the game in. Um, so I'm just about to get out. Like I say, this is mission six, where the bees sleep. And there we go. It says six tasks altogether. Secure the honeybee, eliminate the schools, um, secure the honeybee with all its ammunition intact. That means you can't use it. Extract a prisoner, um, extract two snipers, and eliminate a gunship. And the gunship can be a bit of a pain to um, remove with um, such bad weaponry, which we have at the moment. But we will be able to get it. Just means you may have to reload checkpoint a few times. Um, because the gunship, you just want to make sure you have got some some good automatic weapons. I'll just show you what I've got just before we begin. Um, development weapons. So um, primary weapon, um, I'm actually using this one here, the AM Mrs. Four, which you can. I was able to purchase at this point and craft, so you should have been able to if you've been doing everything I've been showing you. And the reason we get that one is because it's got a, that's the only one you can get now that's got a scope. Um, this is without farming, by the way. This is just going through the game normally, no farming. Um, you should be able to craft that one um, with the scope. You want that one? You should have been able to craft a sniper rifle, um, and you should have your cap capture cages, which I keep mentioning to you. I'm not going to mention them to you again. I will say put them down at the, end, at the start of its mission but I'm not going to keep mentioning that you sh should have crafted them by now um, yeah so it's going to get out um, as I said um, when you get out of your helicopter put down four capture cages get on your horse D horse and now we are heading let's get the map where's the map gone so you can only come in. You can only come in at one location. By the way, just heading over here now. There's going to be a, a prisoner here that we want. So just follow this path to the east, and eventually that will take you. Up here. Well, sorry, there's not a prison here, but we want to get killed by these guys. Just so we can engage the little chicken hat. There's one prisoner. He needs to actually a bit further in. There's also a fast travel point here that we're going to unlock. Well, two fast travel points, even. Two fast travel points here that we're going to unlock. They you know. So I'm just going to let these kill me so I can activate a little chicken hat. Come on, kill me, please. You got an easy. This is the easiest shot you guys are going to get at killing me. Go on, yeah, almost. Alright, snake. All right, so continue from checkpoint. Should let me engage. There we go, a little chicken hat. It's going to make it much easier. So now we're heading straight to. Let me show you on the map. Now we're going to head straight to here, the mountain relay base. And then we'll pass through there, and eventually we'll come up here. But yeah, mountain relay base first. Just follow the path. There is a few little shortcuts you can take, which just um, take you over some mountain. Um, a little bit of mountainside, but it's it's not much. You don't really save that much time, so you don't have to take. You don't have to look for shortcuts. Just following the path, and it's only going to take you 10, 20 seconds longer than any of this, um, any of the shortcuts. Look, it's like there's a shortcut here, but don't really. So I wouldn't say it saves too much time. And you may, and because you don't know the game, you may just get lost if you come up here. So you may be best just to follow the path, like I said. Uh, so follow the the roads. So we have to join the road back here anyway, because um, the shortcut doesn't last for that long. Now, um, there's going to be a sniper here that we want it. There's two snipers that we need to extract, but first we're going to mark them. Just so if they do move away from their positions, um, you're going to be able to find them easier.
So here we are, we're now at the Soviet relay base. I'll just show you where we are on the map. So we're here, this is a mountain relay base just here. Um, so I'm just going to mark the snipers. So as long as you haven't alerted any, anyone, these shouldn't have moved. So that's a sniper there. You can actually see a sniper rifle. You can't actually see now because it's night. But you can actually see a sniper rifle. Mark him. And the other sniper is just... That's a make. You see his long sniper rifle? That's the other sniper. Mark him. They've actually both got beanie. They've got beanie hats on their heads as well. So that's both the snipers. Now there's a fast travel point down here we want to unlock. Um, where is it? Have I gone past it? I may have gone past it. There's a fast travel point just down here. Or is it down there? Oh no, there it is. There's a fast travel point. So unlock this fast travel point here. There we go, so that's one fast travel point unlocked. Another one to add to the collection. As you can see, you can easily identify the two snipers. And once you get here, um, there's actually a, a prisoner over here. I'm going to unlock, uh, mark him, that little prisoner. Now we're to quickly extract this dude. And then you need to head over and get that prisoner before they actually take him away. Let's get him out in the open, extract him. That's one sniper gone. It's a few materials here you might want to collect. And then quickly head over here before they drive off. Because they will drive off this prisoner if you're not fast enough. Make sure you've got a. Um, Make sure you're not using a, a weapon that can kill. If you quit, you can actually get all these to surrender. Because you've got a little chicken hat on, very easy, there you go. You don't have to worry about them, because normally they'll put them in that car and they'll take them away. Uh, there we go, that's a prisoner. That should, that should complete a task. Like I said, if you're not fast, they will take them away in that Jeep. Um, Alright, so I'm going to skip that. He's scared of... He's scared of me when I got a little chicken hat on. And there's your sniper up there, he's making his way down in now. So just go quick, quickly gonna head to get that second sniper, there he is, because we marked him earlier. Uh, Alright, get off the horse, Snake. Get off the horse. If you don't mark these snipers early on, they, they can be difficult to find. All right, let's... And if any, if any of these important extractions fail, you will need to reload. Uh, reload a checkpoint. All right, so there we go. Completed mission task two as well. And let me just show you the touch band. Um, so there, uh, there we are. We've, we've completed extracted this prisoner who cannot speak and extracted two snipers at the mountain relay base. We've completed them. All right, so now we're just going to head on through the path uh, along the road again. We're going to be heading along here quite a bit now, and it's going to go up a hill. I'm just going to take a little shortcut here over the, well, over the mountain side. I can create a few new things then. You may have noticed as well, after the last mission we just did, uh, mission five, you can actually craft parts parts of your bionic arm now. And crafting that, you can um, upgrade things like your reflex duration, your movement speed. Um, so make sure you upgrade your arm whenever you're able to. So I'm actually going a bit, getting a bit um, off course there. Yeah, just stay on the track, head towards that yellow marker. And soon we, you'll see a gunship walk. Well, it won't come into view, but you'll see its little marker appear on the map. And we actually have to destroy that gunship because that, that um, actually completes the task as well. But with our current weaponry, it can be a little bit difficult, like I said. Um, it's not difficult that it will kill you, it's just difficult to, because once it gets to like crit critical health, it, it flies, it turns around and tries to um, escape. And if you're not quick, it can escape before you destroy it and it won't come back then. What you have to do if that happens is you just have to um, reload checkpoint and do it again. There it is, you can see it um, just over there. 
There's the gunships now appeared. That's an enemy gunship. Now, sometimes it will just stay there. If it does stay there, um, just um, gallop around to it. But if it does come over to you, just wait here for it. There it is. It can't see you because of your chicken hat, but when you fire at it, it will fire where the fire came from. And when that happens, um, so every time you fire, just move, keep moving location after every 15 bullets or so. So first, you just want to just use your submachine gun and try to make sure you hit it. There we go. Just move location. There we go, see, wait for it to finish its, its shooting. And then put your clip into it. There you see, it's got smoke coming from it now. It'll probably try to fly away in a second. I'm going to wait for it to stay still so it's an easier target. There you go. There we go, it did it. it. It's just about to fly away, see it's just turning. Um, what you can do, if it's a bit too far for you to hit, because it was quite far from me then, and it was making it quite difficult for me to aim, you can use a sniper rifle. The only thing is your sniper rifle is very slow, so um, make sure that's a, that's a sort of last resort sort of thing, and make sure you don't mess around. All right, so we've done that task. Let me show you that complete. Um, there we go, um, eliminated a gunship. And now we are going to head up, up, up here now. Just going to head, head up here now. Sort the path slightly, and then we're going to go just through these mountains here. All right, D horse, uh, where are you? Come on, D horse. We actually need to get a bit of ammo as well now, just for the boss, because there's actually a little boss fight on this level. And um, so come here, D horse. Come on. <laughs> Come on! I ain't doing all this running myself. I need to keep my energy for this boss battle. Yeah, so just keep. Damn, I jumped off. Just keep heading on through here towards that yellow marker. And that should bring you into like a little enemy compound behind these mountains. And here we go, this little enemy compound here. Now it's a blueprint here, and there's a fast travel point as well. And we actually just want to get some ammo here as well. So just neutralise these. Um, you can grab their weapons as well. What I'm going to do here, I'm going to change the weapons to mine just so I can get maximum ammo. There's some materials around here you may want to grab. So let's just do this fast travel point first. Uh, so it's here. It's a fast travel point. It's just here, sort of in the centre near the, near the actual track. Grab that invoice. There's a fast travel point. Let's do this blueprint as well. The blueprint is just over here. So he's got, a, he's got a different weapon to the one I've got, I think. No, there we go, more ammo. Um, all right, so here's the blueprint. I'd like to show you. So just in this little bit here, the sort of northeastern corner. No, sorry. Uh, there's the blueprint. Sorry, that's the material. Here's the blueprint here. Same, same place, just on a different table. There we go. It's a PB shield blueprint. We've just got that. Now, we were at 179 ammo, we just want to max that to 200, so just look around for some enemies you haven't um, made surrender yet. Get them to drop their weapons just to get some more ammo. Guys, surrender, don't move, oh, okay. I just shot your friend. Where are these guys going? So 
So there will be some more enemies around here. I just want to see if I can just get a little bit more ammo. You gotta extract him. Um, oh, there's a gem down there. Not really important, but I, grab, I, I was passing it, so I was going to grab that. There's an enemy. Let's uh, grab his ammo. Oh, I've got his ammo as well. Alright, so I, I think I've got all, most of the ammo I'm going to collect for now. Alright, so now, once you're ready, once you've got quite a bit of ammo for your, your lethal weapon, um, you want to come up here through this sort of tunnel. We're just heading into the mountain now, you see, to the north. There's some enemies in here, I'm going to get their weapons. So you want to head up here all the way, see I'm heading all the way to the end of the path. Oh shit, <laughs> I killed him. All the way to the end of the path, and keep coming up, uh, you want to come along here, along here. Now this bit is a bit of a maze, basically you just need to go up the steps, turn around, come back on yourself and head sort of up and left, you'll come here over here, make sure you don't drop down, follow this bit, ignore that hole. Keep coming around here, and you want to climb up this ledge here. Drop down into this hole, and then down here into it. And there's a big sort of um, hidden area here. And once you're in here, just head downwards. Keep heading down. Now it's going to bring you closer to that yellow marker. So, and then head into his back rooms through here and there's the actual thing you need it's hidden there you can see you're gonna, going to have to exchange that with your sniper rifle by the way so you're going to have to get rid of your sniper rifle there we go that's another task complete to cure the honeybee there we go we've got two more tasks complete and we, we should complete both of them uh, soon one task is for not using that weapon we just collected do not use it um, so you keep your ammo at max do not use that and that will complete your task and these enemies we're going to find the boss enemies we're going to fight soon we need to kill them all um, in order to complete another task we won't actually be able to kill them all but I mean um, deplete all their health once you've done that just keep heading sort of southwest and I'll take it out of the tunnel And here is the boss type enemies. So I'm going to skip this cutscene. Again, they can't see you. They will just attack wherever any um, fire comes from. Wherever they hear any sound, basically, they will attack that sort of direction, that location. So what you can do, you can mark them all. See, so yeah, they're all marking where you were. Just mark them all first, and then you'll find them easier. Try not to kill the random, uh, the random enemies that move about, like zombie types, because um, once you've killed these four enemies, they will all, they will all um, be stunned automatically. And then you can foot on them all, and they're quite good foot on. So make sure you got your lethal weapon equipped, and then just shoot all these. Yeah, keep moving. Like I say, they will hear you when you're running around. I and mean, if you don't want to hear, you can just uh, sneak, crouch. They start shooting you, just crouch, go into prone, and then just crawl around. And they will not, not know where you are then. And then you can just let your health heal. They'll know where you are when you're, you're moving fast and you're shooting. Yeah. Sometimes they'll like teleport like this. It'll, it'll go really misty. And... Um, you have to, you at least track them basically until they appear again. They will come back eventually, one of them will spawn in a second. You can also use a grenade, if you have some grenades you can use them as well by the way. There he is, he keeps teleporting. There, you see me, you see me now, there he is. 
That's one of them. Right. Seems you only have to kill one to complete a task. But you can just kill them all. Okay, it's not too difficult. That one's only got a bit of health left. Oh, it's disappeared. It's hiding now. Like I said, if you get low in health, just go into prone, crawl away a little bit, and let your health recover. I just wonder where that one is that's got no health left, he's hiding. Alright, so it looks like I've already teleported away. Yeah, it's going really misty again. So just like before, one of them just start running at you in a second. This one there. Right, it's a mist gun for now. Two of them are almost dead. Right, one more left. I ain't got much ammo left though. Literally no ammo at all. You can't actually foot on them yet. Um, you haven't got the ability to foot on them. Oh, I may have to use my grenades now. Um, where's my grenades? Alright, so I want. If you're going to use the grenades, try not to kill them random zombies that are moving around. So you want to extract them later. No, I completely missed him. Oh, I, killed, I killed one of them. Alright, so he's going to come uh, running after me in a minute and I'm going to put a grenade in the path where we're moving. Here he is. He's found me. This. Oh, I'm going to kill that one, damn. Alright, so that's it, we've got them all. These should all be stunned now and I'm going to extract them. Just a shame I killed them all, because like I said, these, um, they will have quite high ranks. I think these are all dead. No, he's dead. Yeah, these are all dead. Alright, yeah, so we've... There's one more task that we haven't completed. See, we've completed them, um, eliminated the school. Seems you only have to eliminate one. Um, which is eliminate all four. Then once you're done, just um, head up here. Next, basically, um, you need to head over here, here now, where he's going to pick you up. Yeah. This is Have at LZ. Yeah. Stand by. Support helicopter 
yeah, later on you see, later on you'll be able to get the, the helicopter to pick you up near where you finish your mission and um, you'll be able to start a lot closer as well. So then that just makes S rank a lot, a lot quicker. So you have completed all mission tasks there. So all we need to worry about on when we replay this is to get in that S rank. And we should have completed a lot of challenge tasks as well. So um, that should get some nice nice rewards there we are there's LZ where the helo's going to land time to go Yeah, you should get last um, before because we didn't use that weapon we had to collect. We should complete another task. And there it is. So that's all six mission tasks complete. And we looks like there's a lot of things we can de develop now as well. Yeah, so that's it, guys. That's um, mission six. Um, where do the bee? Where the bee sleep? Um, yeah, I hope that helped. That'll get you all tasks, and you'll you'll just do S rank later on when you have to redo this again. Um, so yeah, guys, hope that helped, and I'll catch you on the next video.